Voice assistants, one of the coolest technologies that we have. It is so convenient to ask something and get an answer without needing to pull out your phone and type stuff. And all of the major voice assistants are owned by big tech and licensed under a proprietary license, meaning nobody can see the code. And these voice assistants are spying on you, listening everything you say. On the other hand, Mycroft is an open source voice assistant, which means anybody can look at the code, make their own version. In the age where digital privacy is non-existent, Mycroft is the only proper voice assistant that respects your privacy. So let's get on the desktop and let me show you this amazing voice assistant. Mycroft can run on a variety of things, ranging from Raspberry Pi to phones, but today we are going to install on a PC. Installation is pretty simple. You go to the link in the description, copy this command, paste it into your terminal, and it will open a guided installer. After it's done downloading everything. By the way, remember, it's Control Shift V to paste on terminal, not Control V. This is the guided installer. Say yes to this. Say yes to this too. All right, this requires some explanation. So when you ask Bimek, how is the weather? First of all, it goes onto the internet and finds the answer, then it passes it to Mimic, so it can speak. Mimic sends it the audio file, and it plays the audio file for you, so you can hear what it says. But when there is no internet, or the Mimic server is down, it relies on the local Mimic to speak, or you will hear nothing, so that's the trade-off. If your CPU has 6 cores or more, I recommend you build it, it will probably take like 15 to 30 minutes, but if your machine is slower, it may go up to an hour. To save some time, I'm gonna say no. Set yes to this, it makes it easier when troubleshooting, and give your password. Unless you're gonna develop Minecraft, this isn't important, you can answer whatever you want. Now it's gonna do stuff by itself. Now you just need to select your Linux system that you're currently running. I'm currently running Kubuntu, so I'll just pick one. If you are going to use the computer only as a Minecraft, pick number one. If you still want to use the desktop, pick number two. Number two allows for some KDE add-ons and stuff. And the installation is now done. To start Minecraft, paste this command which is under the subscribe button. And you can open the UI which displays additional information. So you'll have to pair your device which allows it so you can change the configuration and stuff and, you know, load plugins, so I'll do it real quick. But to pair, you know, you'll need to make an account. I already have an account, so I'll just log in. So you go to their website and just put in the pairing code, so... Hey, Minecraft! How tall is Mount Everest? The elevation of Mount Everest is about 8,849 meters above sea level. Hey, Minecraft. What is Linux? Linux is a family of open source Unix-like systems based on the Linux kernel and... Hey, Minecraft. Spell Apple. A. P. P. L. P. -E. Hey, Minecraft. What is Microsoft Windows? Windows is a group of several proprietary graphical operating system families developed and marketed by Microsoft. And I'm gonna leave it here for you guys. This barely scratches what Minecraft is capable of. Go read the docs, explore it yourself. Comment for the algorithm, subscribe to see more. Goodbye, people.